Welcome friends to another r slash I don't work your lady video. If it's not too much of a chore, could you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below? That said, our first story of the day is by Mr. Epic Guy. Some lady screamed at me for not helping her, despite the fact that I told her numerous times that I don't work at Walmart. She then proceeded to physically assault me. Okay, look. So I normally visit Costco to get my groceries, but when I went there, there was a big number of people and no parking spaces available. So I noticed the Walmart next door, so I just go there instead, since I only have to get a couple of things. Big mistake. So I guess apparently my clothes look somewhat like a Walmart employee's clothes. I didn't think so, but this lady did. So we get the stuff I need, and I enjoy collecting Lego sets, so I go into the Lego aisle and I choose to get a fire truck. I'm about to leave, but then this lady aggressively grabs me from behind, now that I think about it, she was probably on something, and she says in an obnoxious tone, you, where are the toy guns? I then proceed to tell her, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't work here. She then aggressively tells me, fine, and I tell her, sheesh, you don't need to be so rude. Then she turns around and says, excuse me? And I say, you don't need to be so rude, again. So then she starts freaking out and says, do you know who you're talking to? And I just try to walk away. Then she starts freaking out even more, starts screaming and yelling, security, come here. So I tell her to please shut up. And she freaking spits on me and calls me a witch. Like, what is wrong with her? So then security comes over. I tell them my side of the story and how she spat on me. And she says that I was being a jerk. So then the manager apologized and the crazy lady got arrested because spitting on someone turns out to be considered assault. Anyway, crazy Karen is now at the police station and I'm here telling the story. Oh yeah, also, I'm never shopping at Walmart again, that place is crazy. Let me ask you guys, for those of you who have gone to Walmart or know of Walmart, do you expect to see something completely out of place or crazy going on every time you go to Walmart? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Our next story is by Ember Jelly. Elderly woman asks me to help her find a nursing bra. This happened about five years ago or so. I took my infant son with me shopping at Walmart. I decided to cut through the women's clothing section aisle to bypass a few straggling shoppers taking up the main aisle when I was stopped by an elderly woman. This woman tried to speak to me but was having some difficulties as her English wasn't all that great. We have a lot of different ethnic groups in my community, and due to my job, I have to interact with people who can barely speak English frequently. I'll paraphrase what she said to me to make the story quicker. She says, can you please help me? I'm looking for a nursing bra. I'm confused as to why an elderly woman needs a nursing bra. I say, I'm sorry, I don't work here and I don't know where they are, but they should be in this general area. She says, please, can you please help me? Store staff won't help as I don't speak English well. FYI, the majority of staff at this store are from her origin country, so either they're totally North Americanized and know little about the language of their family, or they just didn't want to help her. Me trying to wrangle my son into sitting properly in my arms, as he didn't want to sit in the car carrier, say, I'm sorry, I don't know where to find them and I don't work here, but I can help you look. The woman says, oh thank you, thank you. My daughter just had a baby and she asked me to get her a nursing bra. I don't even know what it is. I explained what a nursing bra was as I helped her look. Eventually I found them as the undergarment section wasn't labeled correctly. Where a sign said nursing bras were located was actually socks. No big reno or revamp here, just laziness. The woman says, can you please help me find her size? She says she normally wears so and so, but has grown since then. I say not surprising growing that little one in her. Unfortunately, I don't know what size she would be now, but this one here says it's more adjustable for a woman normally her bust size. I'd recommend getting your daughter to try it on before removing the tags and exchange it if she needs a size up or down. The woman says, oh thank you, I knew that when I saw you you would be a big help. I saw your baby in your arms and knew you could help. Staff here aren't very nice. Her grandchild and my son now go to school together, same class this year apparently. We ran into each other the other day and she remembered me. This is definitely another one of those stories that restores your faith in mankind. Moments like this where somebody can't speak the language very well and is just a bit lost, somebody's there to just stop, reach out a helping hand, and help them get what they need. If you believe in karma, there's definitely good karma going OP's way for this one. Our next story is by Xeran, Management Material. The men in my family have been blessed slash cursed with premature aged hair. Whether this is premature balding, graying, or both, 
we start showing signs of being a mature male in our hair, in our early teens at our latest. On top of this, I'm a teacher and have been told that this gives me a very commanding posture when I'm talking to people. I'm explaining this because I've been confused for a manager at most places that I work because people assume the older male is a manager. I don't work at Lowe's, I've never worked at Lowe's, and in my life, I've probably only been to this Lowe's like five times. I'm currently at Lowe's in search of items to build a pet project of mine. A massive D20, over two feet in diameter, that can be thrown around and not cause physical damage if a child's hit. As I'm discussing things like different foams to use for the sides, different types of skeletal support, if stuffing it would help or hurt and how to support the corners, I'm steadily gaining more and more Lowe's employees around me as they ask each other for their different experiences. About five minutes go by, and while they do their best to assist me, we finally get to the point that their idea well has run dry. Eventually, I realize that they don't feel comfortable leaving without me giving them permission to go away. I say thank you for your help guys, I think I've gotten everything I need from you, now I'll have to make some of my own decisions. I state, more or less, letting them relax and disappear into various parts of the store, like the chained phantoms they are. Finally comes an exasperated voice, which was housed by an irate woman, who was a haircut away from being the photographic example of a Karen. Before I can say anything, this woman comes towards me in a huff, literally dragging one of the store employees by his sleeve. This poor college-age boy who had probably thought a job at Lowe's wouldn't add to his stress level when going to college gives me the look of someone who thinks he's about to be executed. I don't know what the woman had said to him, but he was clearly reconsidering all of his life choices up to that point. Sir, I want you to know that your employee, she states tugging on the boy's shirt, has been disrespectful and completely incompetent. This caused an aha moment for both myself and the employee. I thought I had said or done something to annoy this woman and she was going to complain about me to the nearest employee, and the employee thought she was bringing him to her husband to get a secondary tongue lashing. Uh, ma'am, the boy started, which drew daggers from the woman's eyes. But before he continued, I raised my finger at him and gave him the same face I give my students when we both know they're being stupid. You will have your time to talk in a moment, I'll handle this for now. I state, before turning to the Karen, I'm sorry that you had a bad time ma'am, I'll handle the situation from here. If you need further assistance, please feel free to go up to one of the front desks and explain your needs to them, they'll get you some further assistance. Finally, she states, practically preening on the fact that she's ruined someone's day. With a flip of her hair, she then marched out of the aisle the three of us were occupying. I wait until she turns the corner before looking at the employee. We both know that I don't work here, right? He nods, unsure of what's going to happen. I shake my head and roll my eyes. Welcome to retail. Take a small five minute break and hopefully she'll be gone before you're back on the floor. I then give him a grin. That's an order from your manager. I could see the weight disappear from his shoulders as he takes a deep breath. Half inch PVC pipe, I ask, having forgotten where I was instructed to go from the last conversation I had. Two aisles over that way, he says pointing. Thanks, I responded before walking away and hoping I left the employee with a slightly better day. What OP did here was a smooth move, and not only was it smooth as heck, it saved both the employee and OP probably a decent amount of grief. I can imagine spending some time as a teacher dealing with kids might be very beneficial in dealing with Karens and knowing how to talk down a Karen. Our next story is by Dog Over Kids. Someone followed me through Walmart. I was wearing a Target shirt. I went to Walmart after work today, I work at Target, to get a car battery. When they didn't have what I needed, I began to make calls to other auto parts stores in the area. I'm very clearly on the phone, with an air filter under my arm, in my bright red shirt, meandering through the sporting goods section. As I'm speaking, this woman walks kinda close to me, says nothing, so I turn the other way and walk down the other aisle. Then I see her out of the corner of my eye, just trailing me wherever I went. The second I hung up the phone, she comes up to me in a huff, going through her purse and I almost thought she was going to pull out a Jesus card, and says, I want to visit with your store manager. It took every bit of my soul not to say, ma'am, this is a Wendy's. But I told her I didn't work there, and she turns around to yell at the actual employee about why I didn't help her. I gave him the look of understanding and sympathy, we nodded at each other, and I faded into the distance. I think what I've learned over reading all of these stories is that you just can't break down the mind of a true Karen. 
I have a new theory that what's at the center of a Karen's brain is identical to that of what's at the center of a black hole. Logic stops existing. Our next story is by KitMick9999, IT but not here. I work in information technology and my work shirt says so but also has my company logo. Many years ago at a store that sold computers, I was helping my sister buy a new laptop and showing her the various features of different ones after work. So I'm wearing my work polo. A lady comes up on the other side of me and asks me a simple question about computers, so I answer it and go back to talking to my sister. The lady interrupts and asks another question, which I answer and go back to my sister. The third interruption is to ask about discounts or coupons applying to certain ones or something like that, and I say I don't know. She says could I go ask someone, which is when my sister, a bit less patient than me, says he doesn't work here, go ask them yourself. The lady shushes her, nonsense he's wearing their uniform, which is the moment I realized that my work shirt was the same color as the store uniform. I turn fully towards her and pointed out the logo of my well-known company and say, it's just a coincidence, I actually work for IT at company and we happen to have the same color shirt. Instead of apologizing or being embarrassed, she exclaimed, well why are you in here selling computers to people? My sister exploded, he's not, duh, while I at the same time said, she's my sister. Hearing two people at once, I guess she heard neither and cursed at us and marched off. You don't have to be so freaking rude. My sister gave her some choice words and then we laughed and laughed. My sister still brings it up from time to time whenever she thinks I'm being too patient with people. Usually being patient pays off, only sometimes not. Being patient I definitely think can help, but for me personally it depends on how my day's going. If I'm in a funk or if I'm in a mood, I'm not going to be patient for anybody. I'd much rather just give up and walk away before dealing with six layers of Karen questions. If they want to chase me down and try to grab me after that, then they must be some real Karens. And our final story of the day is by Alternative Status 24. Bro, I'm just trying to find a gift. It was almost my niece's birthday and I wanted to get her a gift. So this was way back in 2018 before the lockdown. So she was relatively young, about six years old, so maybe a toy would best fit. So I go to a toy store in an orange shirt. The people working here wear orange shirts and black pants. Nothing new, just simple store policy. I go there and I went to the girl section. I was approached by a woman, typical Karen look, blonde hair and a purse. She was asking in a relatively rude tone, um, excuse me, can you help me find this object? I couldn't really remember what she was looking for. I say, sorry miss, but I don't even know where that object is. She says, oh my goodness, how do they even consider to hire you? How come you don't know where this object is? It's your job, she replied. Excuse me? I don't work here, miss. She says, liar, get me your manager. By then, it was pointless, so I just went on with my shopping. She was tapping me on the shoulder harder and harder by the second. I turned around and say, may I help you? She says, get me your manager. I knew that she wasn't going to budge, so I decided to respond, all right. She says, I'm going to make sure that you're getting fired. I pretended to walk towards the place where the employees were in, and I just left the store. I went to another store, and I still wonder to this day if the Karen was still there waiting. I just want to hear these stories where they try to ignore the Karen, and the Karen gets a little bit more mad and upset, they keep tapping on their shoulder. I just want to hear somebody that turns around and just lays into a Karen or something. Not physically, just vocally. Lady, I literally don't work here. Censor, censor, censor. Just leave me alone. Though, if you're out looking for toys and you know there's another store nearby that can be just as good, making them wait there and then just walking out of the store and not coming back, that's pretty good. But with that being said, that's all the time we have for today. So of all these stories I've read today, which is your favorite and why? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't yet, if you could like and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Whatever you do, whether it's liking, subscribing, turning notifications on, all of it helps grow this channel and I appreciate the heck out of it. So until next time, I'll see you all tomorrow with some more stories.